Welcome to Trukana, Kenya's dry, hot, and desolate region. But there's something in the horizon. One of the poorest areas in the country is now pumping oil. Talo Oil, a British company, has been here since 2012 and its engineers say the oil they've discovered is of good quality and is commercially viable. The country's oil reserves are up to 750 million barrels. Over the coming months, the government wants some of the crude oil transported by trucks and trains to a port on the Kenyan coast, more than a thousand kilometers away. During this pilot production phase, about 2,000 barrels a day will be pumped, a small amount compared to the millions of barrels produced by other big oil producers in Africa. Full production capacity will only be known after the test run. Eventually, the plan is to build a heated pipeline that can easily pump the thick tar-like oil along its way. It won't be easy or cheap. You will be looking, thinking about the resource levels that you want to put through the pipeline, uh, you need to fine-tune your designs. Uh, you think about the counties through which the pipeline would run across, so you're talking about land access. Full production is still years away, but what many people here in Trukana want to know is how it will benefit them. Trukana leaders are negotiating how revenue from this oil will trickle down to the community. Many people we talk to here say they just want the basics, food, water, good schools, hospitals, roads, and jobs for their children. The company has put up some community projects, including water tanks like this, schools, and has employed many locals. But people say they also want to know more about the oil. This is how the oil looks like, yeah? We take a sample to a village near some of the oil wells. Their conversation about the smell, color, thickness and value is intense. <coughs> some people write that the oil will belong to all of us. Then we were told the community would get 10% of the revenue. Then it changed to 5%. It's all very confusing. Government officials who visited the oil rig say that everyone will benefit. We are looking at uh, forming a sovereign wealth fund. We want to continue to be a diversified economy, even if we have oil. Many of Trukana's people, who are mainly pastoralists, say they've been ignored for too long. They're forced to rely on food aid because of recurring droughts. Those we talk to hope once the oil starts selling, this region will thrive. Catherine Soy, Al Jazeera, Trukana and Northern Kenya.